Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and we're back here with Computer Tycoon. And we have in fact just completed at the end of the last episode, as hopefully you will recall, my very first year of operation. And despite some initial struggling to actually get cost-effective computers out and sold to my lovely, lovely customers, I've done rather well. Uh, out of seven competing companies, I have at this moment a global 24.63% of the computer market. Of all the sales in all the world by all the companies, I have sold 24.63% of those computers. Which as a share of seven is a very good percentage. Uh, I'm the green company here, that's me, Ajax Futures, because the future is Ajax. So the question is, can we keep this going forward? Let's have a quick poke before we get the uh, the game running at where we are. Let's have a look at our current machine models. Uh, we've currently got two machines being sold, the AF74-3 and the AF74-View, because it came with a display screen. Look at that. And not just blinking lights. Now, um, one interesting thing about these is that this also includes, I think, on things like the CPU, yeah, VLSI, very large scale integration. Oh, it tells you there in the little dialog box on the left, uh, which makes manufacturing cheaper, uh, which is very handy because being able to, to manufacture computers for less and still sell them for much the same price means greater profit. And profit is certainly what we need at this stage of the game. So the the 74 view, uh, the average cost is 1600. The production, the manufacturing capacity needed is nearly 1800. Compare that to the earlier model. Yeah, significantly more. 1700 and a half in cost. Over 1900 manufacturing capacity needed. Um, now we do have a new machine coming on stream which now has a tape drive. I don't think the old one had a tape drive, did it? No, it didn't. Which has a tape drive <laughs> and SLI interfaces, which means we can start plugging things into it. One of which could be a GPU, a graphics card, which we are missing. It is cons conspicuous by its absence, so I think we'll see if we can build a machine with uh, with graphic proper graphics card support uh, in, the up in the near future, hopefully this year. Uh, of course, the unfortunate thing here is that adding all the extra capacity does make the costs go up. Um, so, um, what I'm thinking of doing here at this point is actually taking this old expensive machine off the market. Actually, how many people are buying it? In the last day, um, far, uh, yeah, six, seven, <laughs> seven, I can add up, it sells me there, seven uh, were bought. Um, yeah, mostly in rich countries, which is fine. Uh, what about my other... What would be nice here, actually, is if we had a little arrow or some sort of key to go to the next computer in your list, rather than having to keep going back to to this display. I mean, you can move the boxes around, as you can see, but it'd be nice to have a, a sort of next and previous option on this dialog here. Uh, so which one's that? That's the 74.3. Uh, the view, the customers for that. It's obviously selling a lot more, 36 in the last day, so uh, that's that's looking fine. Um, and we're getting better spread across uh, the, uh, the, the wealth levels of our customers. Now, our third machine has that, did actually go through and finish testing uh, just before we finished the last episode, so we can, manuf we can now market this one. So I'm thinking what I might do is if we archive this one, the first blinking lights machine, get that one out of manufacturing so we don't need to make that. And we can then devote our manufacturing capacity to this new machine, which I can sell for a bit more. Uh, let's try 2750, say. Now if we use our existing discount uh, actually, I need to get the game going before it does this, don't I? Oh, market it. That's the thing to do. Um, oh, that's selling very well. Very well indeed. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with that. I think we've got the pricing just about right. But I'm going to pause it for a second because 
we have an empty research queue, I think. Uh, open the queue. Yes, we do. Now, what I'm going to focus on here, um, I think, because I don't really have the money to expand my manufacturing base, is I'm going to see if I can reduce manufacturing costs um, while, at this stage of the game. Um, so I, I can sell as many as I can for as little cost as I can. So what we're going to look at here is uh, actually if I've got accessories, a fax machine. Ooh, the, these will be cheap, wouldn't they? Actually, not accessories. People like accessories. They add five features. Oh, a gun for some reason. <laughs> for some reason, okay. A fax machine gives you five features, but the gun controller gives you one feature and two quality. <laughs> I think that's quality, isn't it? The I always get those mixed out. Quality or pre prestige. Um, Actually, does the queue tell me? Uh, what's that? No, it doesn't really. <laughs> so, anyway, um, yeah, they'd, they'd be quite cheap to do. But let's look at, where's the manufacturing one? Uh, the 10 micron here. Uh, that gives me no benefits, but um, I can't you can't see it here unfortunately It'd be nice if it told you this it does tell you in text on this level of semiconductor process technology many more transistors can be placed on a wafer or as we say in Monty Python land a wafer the lower the number the more we can put on the chip that results in faster chips oh, everyone loves fast chips apparently uh, so let's add that to the queue and if we look here uh, this should actually be a minus number. So that should take 20 off the manufacturing requirement, manufacturing capacity requirement, the PP figure uh, when that's done. Now my research, let's go back out to the world on my sites. Gabon is my rich country with the research lab. There you are. I have cut research to the bone, to be honest. Uh, because I wasn't making that much money, so I needed to reduce costs, and that was one way I did it. Uh, one interesting little thing, while we're here, um, the uh, Progorian has released uh, an, another smallish update to the game since the last episode, which corrected a few things and improved performance in a couple of areas. Uh, one thing he's fixed here is this discount. I think we saw at the end of the last episode, this country wealth should have given me a 30% discount on the research lab because research workers, experienced technicians cost less in cost less in rich countries than they do in poor countries. But it actually the the, the the code in the game actually turned that into a plus. So it actually cost me more to put it here. But yeah, so the upkeep cost normally would be four thousand six hundred and sixteen a day. But with my thirty percent discount it is actually just over three thousand. So that's fine. So that that's that's working nicely. Um, I'm going to keep that low because I'm not in any great rush to research, I think. Not while we've, we're waiting for um, our machines to start producing money. Now, as you can see here, my demand for production power, my customer demand is vastly over and above my production capacity, my PP. Uh, so what I was looking at doing at the end of the last episode, I actually built, you can just sit here, like, got uh, access to this marketplace in New Caledonia which is a poor country so I will get a discount on building factories there but the thing is I need 17 I need 1,700,000 to buy the site to start building on and I haven't quite got enough money yet uh, so I'm going to wait till that gets to around 2 million or so and then I'll buy that and then I should be able to increase my manufacturing capacity okay Oh, now one other thing, one other thing I noticed. Uh, I'm gonna pause it again for a second. Oh, that's it, thank you, pause. <laughs> Is we should now actually be able to because, so I'm running around different screens here. I hope you can keep up. Um, in circuits, was it, where was it? it wasn't in cooling, uh, it wasn't in memory. Uh, which is to ah compositor chips yes I have researched compositor chips which give me access to graphics cards now you may have noticed we don't have a graphic card in our list of hardware video card here so we need to create one 
which means I can, ho again, hopefully keep up, if not steal a march upon my opposition. So we're going to create a graphics card here. I just want, oh dear, why do that? <laughs> uh, I want to check because my naming system is all over the place. Uh, motherboards are called AF Dash. Uh, my graph, I call my video card a bit like my CPU. It'll just be called AF something, I think, won't it? So we'll call this is a new graphics card where the Arch GPU. We'll call it AF. Um, oh, no, I do want a dash because I'm putting letters in there, not numbers. GPU 01. Okay, and we're going to use compositor chips. We're going to use dip memory. We're going to put a heat sink on it because that gives us this um, quality points. Ah, right, the star is quality, the diamond is prestige. I'm going to try and remember that and I will forget it. You can trust me on that. Oh, the SLI bus, so it fits in with my motherboard. Lots of quality points on that. VLSI, um, again, look at the PP and the cost per unit. Nice reduction on that, that's good. Uh, and again, the 10 micron, which we're researching at the moment, will uh, add to that, will um, stack with that to give us an even bigger discount on the, uh, on the manufacturing cost of this unit. Okay, that's fine. That's going to cost me 135,000. That's no problem at all. Let's create that. Okay, now what that does mean is I can now start, let's get the game rolling again. I can now start work on my next computer. So if we copy this design and we'll call it uh, dash GPU. No, we'll call it video. And it's going to be the first model we're producing in this new year of 1975. Um, let's just check. Uh, oh, we'll put a joystick. We'll put everything on this one. We don't have enough manufacturing capacity. Oh, I know, I know. Oh, actually, uh, I've got two million, so I'm going to stop there for a second. Uh, and we'll build our new factory shortly. But I want to carry on with this, this computer. So the memory, we're using our latest memory. Uh, oh, I keep doing that. I keep pressing the close and not the back button. I've been told off for that in the in the past. <laughs> uh, okay, let's start this again. GPU, the first one of 1975. I oh, know it wasn't GPU, was it? It was video. Right, uh, accessories, all of them. That's good. The memory. Go back, don't close. Go back, don't close. Right, remember that. Of course I will. Um, back to the computer. Back to the computer. Uh, the CPU. Uh, back, actually. Uh, what are we looking What are we looking for here? Uh, oh, yeah, the CPU, remove ball, the GPU card. That's the one thing we want to add in. Oh, can I, can, oh, I can't do that because I'm still on the copy. Let's... Uh, Save. Can I? There it is. Oh, can I not put a Z GPU? Oh, why can't I put that in there? I'm missing something. Am I missing something? Oh, that's a bugger, isn't it? What is happening? Oh, I've just changed the name of the machine. That that was <laughs> daft. Bleed it, honestly. Ah. Uh, I'm, uh, that was the SLI, wasn't it? Right. Okay, so if I copy this design, okay, let's try this again. And I'll see if I can get it right first time. Uh, okay, this is the year 75. There, right, yes, I was trying. What, I, what you might have spotted I was actually doing was I was renaming my old model and trying to edit it. You can't do that, you've got to copy it. Um, right, so we'll add that to the computer. That's better. Accessories, yeah, everything's in there. Everything else I think should be the same. We haven't improved anything else. Okay, uh, the motherboard. Yeah, that's all exactly the same. Back to the computer, yeah. Okay, right. So let's save that design. Let's create the prototype. 
Your new computer model went into the testing phase. Thank you very much. OK, right, let's go back to the world. Uh, we've got two million. Can I spend set one million? Let's do that. OK, now I'm really short of money. <laughs> I can produce a factory for a hundred grand in here. Uh, notice here, because this is a poor country, not a poverty wealth level country, I'm only getting a 25% discount, not the sort of 50% or whatever it was uh, I got in Germany, which has a wealth status of poverty. This is just poor. Uh, so, yeah, let's build that. Okay. Okay, we're still making lots of good money. That, I'm happy with that. 14 grand a day profit is fine. Okay, I'll research. Uh, where's the queue? Your building upgrade has completed. Ah, excellent. You have researched a new technology. Oh, so much happening all at once. That's because I had it on double speed. Right, uh, our manufacturing capacity is, over, is in excess of our demand at the moment. But I'm still making money. So what I could do is reduce the capacity of this one here, which is a more expensive one. Uh, just reduce that a little bit, say to 80,000. Will that work? No, no, it does need to be full because I still have a very high demand for my really quite excellent computers. Okay, uh, I have researched uh, what was it? Uh, the 10 micron there. Do I want to go to 6 micron? No, because that will take quite a few research points and quite a few days, 70 odd days, which is only a couple of months and a half or so, isn't it? But what we could do, let, let's go for the cheap options for the moment. Actually, a floppy drive would be good. That doesn't take long. Uh, but what I was looking for was... Uh, these accessories down here. So let's go for the fax and the gun controller. There we go. Um, and we'll get those done. So our next machine, the, the only trouble with, with sort of doing all this research at this stage is it comes through fairly quickly. So you're constantly evolving new models to sell. Uh, so there's a lot of work going on in here. Oh, that's finished polishing. Okay, uh, so we could actually put this one to market. So let's just check. So this machine costs uh, 188. That's our previous SLI machine, costs 188. Oh, this one is quite expensive. But uh, how does it compare with my competition? So, um, yeah, the performance isn't, I'm losing out on performance capacity because I've really got the big discs. They, that works for me. The features, oh, I am really feature rich here. Uh, the prestige, I think I've got that right this time. I can hear cheering in amongst the crowd. Yep, <laughs> that's really good. Um, ease of use. Oh, I'm, I'm doing well there. And likewise quality. I, I can charge a premium. Look at my competitors here. They're all charging ridiculously large amounts for machines which still use blinking lights and not a real graphic display. Oh, I, th I think I, yeah, I, I can charge. Let's see if we can make money charging three and a half grand. Uh, okay, let's get the game rolling. Let's market that. And people are buying it. Oh my goodness, no. But the only trouble is, <laughs> I still don't have enough manufacturing capacity. This is awesome. Okay, uh, if I go to my you new... You have researched a new technology. Thank you. Uh, this factory here, I could upgrade it for 500,000 for, for yeah, half a million. I could do that. I could do that. That would give me a huge increase in capacity to 90, I'll add 90,000. Let's do that. I can always scale back how much manufacturing is actually done within the site. 
so I won't spend all that money on the new uh, on the new facility but it does mean I can start meeting demand and that's good because I do have as you can see here in the top right one spare logistics point so I can expand into yet another country to start selling my fabulously wonderful and really very cost-effective computers how am I doing yeah everything is selling quite nicely yep yep I don't, I'm not selling in the huge numbers that my com competition is, but it looks like they haven't really. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the date stamps on these, they haven't produced a new computer for over a year. Your building upgrade has they, completed. They are, they are just so behind again. You have researched a new technology. Okay, so, um, yeah, I've got too much capacity now in my factories, so I need to scale this back. Otherwise, as you can see there, I start losing Your money. Your research queue is empty. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> So let's take that back down to there. Oh no, have I gone overboard on the... Uh, you don't have enough manufacturing capacity. Yes, I know that. And I'm... Oh, no, I'm not losing money. I can make money there. It's not a lot, though. Okay, that looks... No, that looks better. Looks like that looks better. Yeah, there's obviously a delay between changing the budget for the factory and the impact it has on manufacturing capacity feeding into feeding into the profit and loss figures okay now I do have I have finished that research I've now got gun controllers and faxes and joysticks I've got lots of really good stuff okay so cooling do I need to worry about cooling uh, AC DC converter what are these good for <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Uh, no, so I'm, I'm, I'm. I do that sometimes. Just head off into a song by tangent. Uh, okay, alkaline batteries. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, that. Oh, look at that. That adds. Oh, loads of quality. And it's only three research points. Let's definitely do that then. Okay. Now, there's a couple of things I know I can add to my computers uh, one of which is on the power supply uh, which I for some reason I decided not to do when I built my first power supply unit but I think my competitors did which is why they had a quality advantage over me if I copy this here you have researched a new technology your research queue is empty Okay, I'm going to have to, to stop you there for a second. There you are. Um, on the uh, power supply, it was possible to had had to add a heat sink. And for some reason, I decided not to do that. But if you add the heat sink, look at that, double the quality. <laughs> so um, it's going to cost me. Oh my goodness me! It's going to cost me 32, 33 grand. It's expensive. Uh, let's put the quality down a bit, though, shall we? That's better. Uh, so 10% quality. What I'll do, let's see if I can hit. Yeah, I'm, what I'm looking here is at the 10.49 10 here. Uh, I'm happy with that, I think, so 5% quality boost to my power supply will give me a quality total for the whole unit of 10.49. So uh, let's let's do that. Okay, so what we can do, we can create a new computer with a cool power supply and, joy and gun controller and fax machine. Does that sound good to you? It sounds good to me. So let's let's uh, ignore all our competition. Let's get them out of the. Uh, which that's you, and you. We don't need you in view anymore. Yeah. So we're selling. Our manufacturing capacity is okay. We're not making a vast amount of money. I'm just wondering. If uh, if we look at the customers for this computer. Yeah, it's selling quite nicely everywhere. Uh, my new computer is selling quite nicely everywhere. Uh, 
Apart from the filthy rich, though, they don't seem to like it. I'm not quite sure why, but they liked the previous one. Well, a little bit. <laughs> so, and the old machine. Yeah, nobody's really buying that one, are they? So I think if I archive my original display machine, let's archive that one. That's good. Okay. So, oh, my manufacturing. The research queue is empty. Yes, I know. Okay, so we notice my manufacturing demand has gone down significantly. Uh, so I'm losing money now which I don't want to do. So can we reduce the cost of this, the price of this rather? Let's change that back down to 250. And we'll change this to say 3250, if I can type correctly. Okay, which should bring demand back up a little bit. Are you going to bring demand back up a little bit? No, and I'm now losing vast amounts of money. Oh, heck. <laughs> oh, no. Right, so let's go back to our sites. Uh, let's reduce. Actually, this, this one is the cheaper one to run, so because I got the 50% uh, discount on factories. So let's, let's take this one down. Okay, can we start making money again? I'm still losing it. I'm still losing it. Do we need that new computer? I think we might. Oh, I'm, no, we're back. We're back in profit. Oh, that's good. That's good. Now my manufacturing capacity PP is only slightly ahead of my uh, demand. Which brings me to a point, actually, in the uh, latest updates, and if you're following um, Computer Tycoon on Discord, you'll notice one of the last discussions in there has been about how to manage sort of stock and um, warehousing of computers. In particular, that if you actually produce more than you sell, can you stockpile them that? Can you stockpile that excess? Um, so there's a whole issue around that. So if you've got any thoughts on handling demand and supply within the game, um, by all means, get in touch uh, with Progorian. The research queue is empty. Oh, yes, I know that, so I will take care of that. Get in touch with Progorian either on the Steam forums. Um, I think if you look at the latest update notice, uh, you'll see the, the mention of this, this uh, idea on, on there. You can comment on that or on the Discord server. Uh, I think I put links to both those somewhere within, within the description for this video. OK, so we've researched the alkaline battery. What can we research now? Uh, what would be good? Speakers. Mm, yes, we like we like noisy computers. I like the floppy disk drive. That adds uh, a little bit of extra. Uh, do I do I need to get SCSI though before I can? I do. I need SCSI before I can research floppy disk drive. Okay. Um, am I okay with that? Yeah, I think I am. Yeah, so our queue now has SCSI and floppy disk drive coming up. They should give me not lots of nice bonuses. And they won't take too long either to, uh, to, to come to fruition. And we do have the possibility of creating a new computer here. So let's see if I can do it. So let's copy the design and I'll try and do it uh, this one is going to be the cool one because it's got the cooled power supply plus all the extras, the gun, the control of the fax, that's fine, the power supply, uh, that's it, click there, so that's actually just, yeah that is that one, <laughs> I'm never quite sure. Okay, now that's the only the GPU. Everything else is the same. So let's save that design and create the prototype. Your new computer model went into the testing phase. So, yeah, as you can see there, the feature 
value has gone up quite a lot. The quality, that will increase as it goes through testing. Sorry, the prestige, no, that actually that doesn't increase much, does it? Uh, it's the quality, oh, the quality is a lot better. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, heck, I'm losing money again. I don't like that. I don't like losing money. Right, uh, so let's go back to our sites. Let's reduce manufacturing capacity slightly again. There we go. Can, come on. I don't want to keep on losing. There you go. As long as I make some money, I'm okay. You have researched a new technology. That's the SCSI come through. Excellent. That's good. I mean, I could reduce my prices, um, which would help. The, the other bind I'm in at the moment is because I am so low on funds, I can't expand into another country at this point, which I think is what my competition has been doing. And if you notice here in the uh, in the top bar, my global market share has gone down a little bit so far. Oh, okay, no, no, I'm making modest amount of money on there. I mean, what I could do is cut research out entirely. Well, that that would save me a fair bit actually, and then sort of coast through the rest of this year on the basis of that. You have researched a new technology. That's what we will do, I think. Uh, let's go to Gabon. And our research facility, we will cut that right down. We'll pare that right down to 10%. Your research queue is empty. Yes, I know. Right, so that should significantly increase my daily profit. Yep, that looks fair enough. Um, and it does mean we'll be much slower on research, but I think for the moment, I should be okay with that. Uh, is there anything we can get fairly quickly? Oh, look, you see these numbers have increased so ridiculously dramatically. <laughs> Hundreds of days to research anything. Um, okay. Composite monitors, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, the built-in speaker. I was looking at that before. Let's do the built-in speaker. Okay, that'll take uh, two months basically to do. But we're okay with that. Yep, there we go. Your new computer model is polished. Now, this is the trouble I have sometimes, is remembering I've done all this research to add it into the new computers, and I completely forget. <laughs> that's, 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 the way, uh, that's the way it goes. Okay, so we have this, I keep pressing, the truth is the space bar stops time, but it's also sometimes taken as a sort of entry key uh, on the dialog boxes. So pressing space here, although it affects the speed, it also closes that dialog box, which I didn't want it to do. Right. So here we are. This is this is very good. Uh, sorry, let's just compare this to our previous machine. So we could take this one down in price again. Yeah, we're not selling a great many each day. This, this cheaper machine is selling really well. This, this is quite impressive. Um, although I don't make as much money on it, I think, as the other one. No, this, this one, oh look, this is vastly profitable. So we could. So the average cost is just over two grand. I could cut the price of this quite dramatically, I think. that. Yes, let's do that. Let's take that price down again. And this one. Oh, this is the, oh, it's the same average cost. I don't believe that for a moment. That's that is curious. Uh, well, actually, we'll leave it at that price. So the price is the same price as the old one. Yeah, I'm still making two grand a day. My demand. It has slipped back. My manufacturing capacity is still under. Yeah, I'm still. Actually, I'm, ah, actually, no, no. I'm looking at that. My manufacturing capacity is less than the demand. So 
let's bring that back up. That's better. Come on, make me. Uh, no, stop doing that. Stop changing demand. Oh, my share of the global market is dropping. I'm losing money again. This, this is. Uh, This is a tight game. It it's cost everything's constantly changing. I'm trying to keep up with it. I made ten dollars yesterday. <laughs> Impressive. Okay, let's. Uh, no, no, we're not going to do anything with the research. Okay, let's pause that there for a second. What can we do? We can reduce the cost of our machines. So let's just check what our competitors are doing. Actually, if we check, uh, where can I check that? Uh, if I check on the stats here, this this is by year. That's that's the trouble is that's not real time. No, that's not. That's that's annual. So it's difficult to know. Okay. So, actually, no, I could tell from here, couldn't I? Uh, so my main competitors are the purple guys. That's Afari and Cheap and Great. Yeah, Afari and Cheap and Great. They're the ones I need to match with, I think. So who's Afari? Not you. Not you. Not you. Ah, you're a fairy, and the, yeah, I can tell by the colours, of course. Don't. <laughs> yeah, they're selling well, cheap and great. <laughs> Misnomer, mate. Misnomer. Three and a half grand is not cheap. Uh, although that's a very powerful machine, it doesn't really compete with me. That that's so annoying. But they've been selling it for a long time. Oh, a fairy! I've got a new machine out. Oh, see that 1975 built that in January. Um, that's again performance capacity. They're they're making strides in that features. Yeah, that they're, they're okay. They're that they're that much cheaper than I am. So can I afford to cut my costs again? I can. Two two five zero. Oh. In the in the um, first version of this game, I tended to, to cut costs or cut my prices rather at the beginning of the year, and then generally left them there for uh, for the rest of the year. Let's just check the pricing on that. I'm still making money. That's good. And this one here, my latest. Yeah, I'm making a lot of money on there. So we, we can take that down to three grand. Uh, yeah, still make money. That's that's good. Ah, demand has gone up significantly. Good. But my manufacturing capacity is now slipping behind. You have researched a new technology. Ooh, I have new technology. Excellent. The only trouble is, I may not have money enough to actually develop that technology and turn it into hardware products. Okay, I had hoped I would come to the end of this year for this episode, but we've come to a crunch point here now. Uh, I am running out of money, although I have a healthy demand and I have got machines that are selling quite nicely. Uh, so let's again let's get you over there. It's just 24 in the last day. Uh, it's, it's not great. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, so that's you and you. Yeah, they're not selling huge numbers. That's the problem, isn't it? I think that's. 
Okay, we're going to be we're left here with a quiz basically. Can I turn this big red number back into a nice bright green positive number in the next episode before I go properly bankrupt? Um, yeah, do I need to really address my pricing here? It could be that I simply need to take one or two of these off the market and only have one or two computers. Like my competitors only have one computer on sale at one time, which is kind of a strategy I adopted towards the end of my first series of Computer Tycoon and turned out to be quite good. So I might well do that, but you're gonna to have to come back for the next time, for the next episode to see if I actually do do that. And if I turn that red number into a green number and start making money again, or if I go horribly wrong and bankrupt and kind of game over. But there you are. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Computer Tycoon. If you did, a little bit of a thumbs up, a like would be very much appreciated. But even better than that, if you've got any thoughts, ideas, suggestions, recommendations, or even criticisms of what we're doing in the game today, uh, just drop a note into the comments box below. That'd be very much appreciated indeed. And of course, if you've not already done so, why not subscribe to the channel? And that way you'll know when I upload the next one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Computer Tycoon, until the next time, bye bye for now. <laughs>